<laughs> so, welcome back to the Fossil Academy. Today, <coughs> I've not been in all week. <coughs> Today, I'm going to try and get this one buzzed out and finished. Well, not finished, as close to finishing as possible because it's been taking, you know, I've not worked on it in a while. So, basically, what we've got is if you can see in there, uh, we've got the inner whirl, and I've got to take all this this section off here. They've got that little gastropod there that I'm going to try and keep. Uh, but if you look at it from the side, like I say, it's uh, the majority of it's gone. So what I'll need to do is to just sort of take it at that level there, and I need to get rid of all this rock. And what I'm going to do is take it down and just try and clip everything, and then I'm going to blast it with the air abras uh, abrasive. Uh, and I'll try, Murray, for you to... I'll, I'll, I'll whack it on there. I've got some new covers for my GoPro, so I don't mind uh, it going near it now. Because if I do get an, a blast of abrasive on the on the lens, it's not going to ruin it, is it? So yeah, it is late already now. So yeah, just going to crack on with it. Oh, I forgot my booze. Uh, right, I've got to go back in the house. Right, I shall be back. Hey! Oh, you got to have a bit of booze, haven't you? Only a little tiny taste. <laughs> nah, my mate slated me. He didn't slate me. He just says I shouldn't be drinking while using power tools. But I kind of see where he's coming from. I do kind of see where he's coming from. But at the end of the day, this is my time for myself. You know, this is my little space. And I want to have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, a little, you know, so I do. Helps me. Hmm. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I need to crack on with this and get this buzzed out because it's, I just want to see it. I want to see, I can see how it's going to sit, but I've got to be careful, you know, because looking at the back, you know, I can, you know, it's going to be there on the back, but there's a lot missing. So I don't want to take it too, you know, I might have to take it, I might have to give it like five mil there. Do you know what I mean? Like five, but then it's going to be close because it's right on the top edge of that, you know, thinking about it. So it might look like it's, my worry is that it's going to look like it, you know, it's, I don't know. It'll look all right. We'll just see what's there. We can only clean. That's a good another thing as well. When you're prepping fossils, you can only clean what's there. You know, sometimes you're prepping something and you think, this is going to be amazing. And then you get down to the middle and it's got no middle. And you're like, I just spent 10 hours on that. Uh, and that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles, isn't it? So, yeah, right. I'm going to get me uh, stuff on. Uh, I'm going to get me, me mask on. You know what, as well? I've got... This this is a problem. I like it. Wife hates it. I love this beard a lot. But it's terrible with a mask. You know, it's terrible with a mask. It's, you know, it lets, it lets in dust. My boss, Phil, said what you can do, which I'm not going to do. I might give it a go. No, I won't. It's, he says, get loads of Vaseline and put like, if you put like like a, like a thick layer of Vaseline around here, but it's just, you just get loads of stuff stuck to it. Do you know what I mean? Fucking like some hundreds and thousands rock, rock hundreds and thousands around your face. Some kind of like, I don't know, it just looks weird, doesn't it? And then I end up getting Vaseline all over me, my kit. And I, I just, I can't see it working, to be honest. So I might shave this off and just leave a tash. Because I do like a bit of facial fuzz. I think I just might keep the tash, you know. I can, like, do my old uh, chocks away. But, yeah, right. Sorry, I'm rambling again. Let's do it. Let's get on with it and let's get some prepping done. The quicker I can get this pen down and abraded, the better and then we can see what we're working with and then I can sort the matrix out after. Cool, let's get on with it. Woo!
Bob Fleming. Um, <clears throat> I don't know whether you can see that in the air abrasive cabinet because I've got my thing. It's probably all white to that, so I do apologise. I've got to work on that. I've got to get a camera set up for the air abrasive unit somehow. But we found uh, just one more rib going in. It's going quite, goes quite shallow now. I think what I'm going to have to do is a broken bellum night on this bit. To get it to look right, I'm going to have to take away this section here. Uh, leave the little gastropod on there. Little nice little gastropod sat there. So what I'll do is I'll take it around. I think I think I'm going to have to take it from about here all the way down to make it look right. So it sort of like sits on like so it comes down. Otherwise, I'm going to have to sort of like like go in like a semicircle there, and it's just going to look a bit odd. It's going to be sort of sat on it. So it's going to get it looking right so i'm going to take quite a bit of rock or matrix off to to sort of get down to it and it'll give me the angle with the pen as well so sometimes you've got to remove rate matrix so you can actually get in done for the night and i've got one more one more session on this and uh, it, it will be finished uh, basically uh, i managed to get the middle out uh, so i am having trouble with the air abrasive trying to film it and show it you know because I'm, I'm using what i do when i when i use my air abrasive so i can see what i'm doing i put my head headlamp on and it's just whiting everything out so it looks a bit terrible um but what, what time is it? It's only 20 past 11. That's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Got ages left yet. Might actually, it could finish it. But yeah, so basically what we've done is we've gone down. We've actually got it out. So it just, I mean, it just goes to show you something that actually looks like you know beyond sort of you know something that you might just leave on the beach you know if it's worn on that side there's a good chance it might still be there on the other you know it's still protected so you know all i've got to do really now is work on the matrix of that Boo! my name is neo <laughs> so yeah just got to work on the matrix of that like uh I'm quite happy with how uh, it's turned out. It's the you know the middle's not the the, the right the centre of the middle's not there, uh, but it does does go down. It's got some nice spines on it as well. Yeah, it's it's getting there. Chamfered off ammonite. I'm hopefully 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 family Schneider, you'll like it. I'll get that in the post for you. So yeah yeah it's good so those guys came on one of our walks at the heritage center uh and then i think they went out on the beach and they, they found that one. Oh, did they come on a walk i'm not sure if they did i think they did i'm not sure anyway but they came in the center and they bought that in and i said that you know there's a chance that it could be good and it's turned out all right so i'm quite happy with that so like i say i'll get that in the post for you oh yeah subscribe as well you've got to subscribe because 56% of people that watch this aren't subscribed. All you got to do is just look, whack it down there and you'll be right. Just do it. So yeah, that one is coming out all right. It's coming out all right. I'm happy. 
I'm happy. I'm happy with what we've got. We've got a nice we've got a nice looking ammonite coming on its way quality of it terrible you know if you look at it it's so much pyrite there's a tiny bit of shell it's there's no sort of solid calcite chambers in it it is literally just the shell and most of that's pyrite with little you know little bits of shell on it it's, it's not the best quality but it's it's you know that family came down they found a rock and that's what it you know that's what it that's what it's turned out like so yeah not a showstopper i've been watching too many baking programs it's not a showstopper but it's, it's beautiful it's beautiful it is it's really good well done family schneider for finding that it's, it's a good little find be safe and i'll see you at next one